Yeah. Hey, Jock. Our hero. I need to restart the game in order to make it responsive to the controller. That doesn't seem right, because this is a controller-only game. Yeah, but the mouse is working for the title screen. It's weird. Weird. Okay, now the controller's working. Huh. Uh, no, the Blaze Cat, this is not on a Steam Deck. This is on an Xbox controller. Welcome to the Aperture Science Competence Center. I am not for paying for Steam employees. Deck. <laughs> I'm Cave Johnson. I have and if a you're PC. hearing this, you are exceptional. No, don't be bashful. It's true. No false modesty. Let's get started. Ah, uh, J.K. Simmons. It's nice to hear you again. Look at all those tubes stretching off in the distance. Everyone don't think that's taking something important hmm. to a genius Wait a minute. and they use it to change the world forever. A genius just like you. Actually, sounds quieter. Are you going to change the world? Well, that's up to you. <laughs> History will remember what you do here today. Do not let us and. By us, I mean all of us, all of humanity, down. Well, he has so the accent. Congratulations. Oh. You are about to take part in the greatest science adventure at the greatest applied sciences company on Earth. This is important work, and you are just the genius to do it. God gave you these gifts. I'm giving you the opportunity to use them. Ammunition. Well, here's your lab. <laughs> I don't mind telling you, we're excited up here. Moon landing excited. Newton. Okay, actually, I think that is him. Wait a minute. That's, check. that's not right. I think I put the wrong tape in. Hold on. Good luck, world's best science. Okay, here we go. You, in the overalls. Get to work, or you're fired. <laughs> they don't give out overalls anymore. Anyway, my name's Grady. You can call me that. I mean, let's do introductions later. You should really already be... <sighs> Honestly, I'm surprised you're not fired already. Anyway, uh, you are a... Uh, ba, 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 product inspector. That is your inspection desk there in front of you. You will be inspecting. Uh, okay, uh, doesn't say. Anyway, something is going to come down the conveyor belt, whatever it is. Make sure it works. Once you've done that, keep doing that. That's the whole job. Anyway, just remember the important thing is to have fun on your own time before you come in. Otherwise, it's just I don't. It's it's real bad here. <laughs> <sighs> it's fine. You'll probably be fine. Good luck. Yeah, they have YXAB there. This is another fan made portal game. No, so this is made by Valve as sort of a tech demo for the Steam Deck. However, they have released it for free that anybody can play on a computer, but it is controller only. Oh, there's even a passive fail. Oh. Great, I already feel like I'm at school already. Yes, there's water. Yes, it flushes. Okay. Your science bidet. Day isn't a very American thing to have in the 60s. They're thinking towards the future. They are. Just keep holding this. Okay. Congratulations, <laughs> <laughs> Rick. This is your life. Dead gummit. I knew it. I, I left the volume down. Hold yeah, on. Zip zap stop. That is how you inspect a toilet. I hope you were paying attention because I'm not saying any of that twice. Look, it's not rocket science. It's not even toilet science. Here's everything you need to know. See that light on the wall? If that light goes on, you're fired. <sighs> okay, good. You heard the important part. Wait, wait, <laughs> hold on. Have they all been smoking? You know what? 
It's not our job to test if the toilet's on fire, right? Just do your regular thing like normal. Move it down the line, and then it's somebody else's problem. You think your job's bad? I mean, your job is bad. Do you hear that? Hold on, I'll, let me take a look. Yeah, keep testing it. I think there's a jam in here. What? Can you get me out of here, oh, please? Oh, great. Thank you. Nope, I'm just wet now. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's... It's working! Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> Just test it. Get it out of here. Ah! <laughs> oh, so, first off, I I think we're in a lot of trouble here. Now, I also think we're going to be rich because I think you just admitted something. Okay. Yeah. Here's what we are going to do. I'm going to go work on this in secret just you go back and pretend to go back to work right like it's gotta look good i mean just pretend the most you've ever you know what just go back to work actually yeah that works i'll be back this is how they came up with the the turrets that you just pour ammunition into them and they work <laughs> also yes it is jk Simmons. it's nice okay they brought him back Sounded a little different. Yeah, he did sound quieter. Ah, uh, the intelligent mantises. Six months later. Mm. <laughs> uh. Hey, now it's not true. Oh, look at that! You ate two hundred seventy. Two hundred thirty-eight pounds of them. I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, first off, you did awesome pretending to calibrate all those toilets. The best. All right, are you ready for this? Presenting. And our toilet. Sitting the aperture science turret. Go on, take it for a spin. The controls are right there on your desk. I mean, right. The controls are right there. Go ahead and just yeah, yeah. And I haven't even showed you the best part. Here's the best part. The turret. The toilets are revolting. Shooting. You know what, though? I mean, you're definitely going to kill yourself with it pointing at you like that, so let me just turn it around. Right, <laughs> oh, great. Now it's looking right at us. I mean, this time. This time it's safe. Last time it wasn't. You almost died. <laughs> wow! Holy moly, man! That is great! Oh, man, the turret broke. That was the only one, too. But don't even worry about it, because here's what I've actually been working on. Yeah, sure. Ta-da! Introducing the Mark II. This is what I spent most of the six months on. It was one month for the first turret, and then like five for this bad boy. Oh man, you gotta take my picture with this. Uh, the desk should have a camera built into it. Can't help but feel like okay, uh, Moment. this was actually a suggestion that they took literally. Jokes. Now for the fun part. You are going to take it for a spin. Here, let me turn it around. Okay, normally I'd walk you through everything, but I think you get it. Let's just open everything at once and see what happens. Ah, she turns. Okay, go crazy. Oh, wow, right? Ah, oh, this is great. This thing shoots so good. Okay, a part fell off. Keep going, though. All right, something else fell off. You can still shoot everything else. Don't even worry about it. Okay, quite a bit is falling off. Keep shooting. You're not doing this. This is a structural engineering problem. It's on me. You're doing great. Yeah, okay, we're blowing up the whole... All those controls... I bet it's the glue. I'm 99%. <laughs> it even looked cheap when I bought it. I remember looking at it like, ah, spend the extra dollar... And yep, here we are.
Uh-oh. Yeah, that looks productive. Totally productive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm this is how Aperture fired. fell into the ruin, we know it is. Wow, alright, that, so some of the stuff I put on there just didn't work. Most of it, like 90%, uh, or even higher maybe, but some of it worked great. So all we have to do is keep the great stuff, and then we, then we can... So, okay, that's the police. The red light so hasn't gone on. One of us needs to streamline this turret, right? And one of us needs to take the fall for shooting up the warehouse. Because they're, this is a lot of damage and they're going to look into this. Which job, which job do you want? How about I fix a turret and then you take, yeah, I'll do that for him. Remember, if anyone asks, you don't know me, okay? Don't say anything. I like this. I hope this. <laughs> Praying it to society. I dollars. really hope the time skip is you in jail. Yes. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I called it. Hey. Well, I mean, wow. You are the best. Thanks for keeping your mouth shut and doing your time. 18 months I mean, later. <laughs> it was way more time than either of us were expecting. I don't know what was in those boxes we blew up but they were wow were they mad anyway i promise you're not going to regret this now let's get you out of here given that the offender has faithfully observed the rules of the institution offender has been granted supervised early release please sign for your possessions inmates possessions are as follows desk one inmate must state their name print their name then sign your name. Oh After boy. Tone, state your name into the desk. <laughs> state my name into the desk, huh? <laughs> Inmate's name is now preserved for the permanent <laughs> record as. State my name into the desk, huh? <laughs> 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 Okay, so this is going to be a thing where they were going to show, hey, here's how the keyboard works on Steam Deck. Here's how finger touch stylus signing would work on it. Now, sign your name. Miles is trying to read the release form here. Air is not responsible for crimes committed by a person in the future or in the recent past, immediate past, present, or distant past, in the event that future crimes involve this time travel. For instance, in the prison close. <laughs> Don't listen to her. You don't need to worry about reporting to your parole officer. Guess who spent the last 18 months getting his probation agent license through the mail? Yep, me. That's right. I'm your parole officer. Oh boy. I mean, not just you. I'm managing like seven guys on parole right now, but they're basically reintegrated back into society. Well, not Tony. He's struggling a little, but anyway, <laughs> that's all I was doing. I got something to show you. Let's get out of here. It is never too late to met. You are both free to go. Oh, uh, bring your desk. <laughs> is it a rocket propeller desk? Okay. I streamlined the turret while you were gone. Introducing the Mark III. Ta-da! So I got rid of all the parts that fell off and just kept the stuff that worked. I mean, it was totally over-engineered, so it just does one thing now. It shoots. It didn't need a satellite dish. That was just dumb. Here, tried on these appliances I found. They were just lying around in the housewares research department in, in a locked room. It's just like the Mark I. Left trigger opens the wings, right stick to aim, right trigger to shoot. I like that tattoo on your neck. Did you do it yourself? It's like a, is it a dragon holding a knife? It's nice. <laughs> it's 
Trog nor the Burninator. I'm thinking we should both have it. Because then we'd be tattoo bros. Anybody would look at us and know we are friends. You think you give me the same tattoo? Would that be weird? It would be weird having the same exact one. Alright, I'll, I'll think of one. What about like a... I gotta watch that video again. ...the side of my head and it's holding a wrench. So you got the dragon and the knife. And mine's similar, but more robot themed. Oh, for a second I thought that was a nuka cola that'd bottle. Be so cool. Oh, speaking of being cool, I've got something even better to show you. Gyroscopic controls. It's real easy. Just pick up the desk, tilt it around to aim, and keep that thumb on the right thumbstick. Yeah, I don't and have that. With the right trigger, like normal. Go on, try. How much did the tattoo hurt? When you gave it to yourself, did you have the proper tools? I would bet not actually, now that I'm thinking about it. You probably had to heat up a pin with the lighter or something. That sounds, I mean, that sounds pretty awesome. Another tattoo idea I just had, instead of a robot hand coming out holding a wrench, what if it was like a skeleton hand? You know, so you're looking at it like, what's he trying to say? Is he human on the inside or does he have like a skeleton trapped in him? <laughs> You know what? Skeleton arm tattoo. I decided. That's the one I want. So when we get a free minute, I'll find a pen and we can heat up that lighter. Alright, everything checks out. This thing is perfect. I think we're good to go here. So, I was saving the best for last. But while you were in jail, I got us a meeting to show our turret to Cave Johnson. That's right, the owner of the company. No pressure, but if he likes this, he's gonna make us rich forever are you ready let's go this is is this what a robot feels like when he dreams <laughs> oh every time skip oh the mantises have invented post-scarcity <laughs> <laughs> and what are we doing inventing toilets I hope he just looks at it and he's just like, that's nice. Why the hell is it shaped like a toilet? What do you share of the money? I know what I'm going to do is pay off the money I borrowed to make this turret. Like, immediately pay it off. Or I'll, I mean, whew, I'll be in some real trouble. Plus the VIG, I'll have to pay that too. Does it make sense to you that the VIG is more than what I borrowed in the first place? It doesn't seem like it. It's weird. Somebody overrode the controls. Hold on. Huh. That's one of the appliances I stole from housewares. Man, he got that turret good, huh? Good thing I brought a couple of spares. <laughs> oh, so now it's the first person to shoot. Uh, it's the housework. That's a real shooter. Yeah. Yeah, right. They stole our idea, and now they're gonna kill us with it. Housework. I really think they're gonna keep coming for, like, basically forever. Housewares, man, can you believe it? Those guys are such pieces of... What did we ever even do to them? Is he looking for well, you probably destroyed an entire warehouse of this stuff, and then after being punished for it, you just stole more of it.
Nice work. Yeah, that's good. I got the elevator working again, but we have another 80 floors before we get to cave. We're not going to survive 80 ambushes in a row. <laughs> Your desk should have some buttons on the underside of it. Those fire the rockets that got built into the desk. They put those on there standard now for safety reasons. So, if you hit all four buttons at once, it should rocket us up through all 80 levels real fast and then up through the floor of Cave's office. Automatic death launch sequencer engaged. Here we go. We are going to launch in 10, 9, 8, 7. Modesty panel set to time configuration. 3, 2, 1. We have lift off. No game, just us getting the cave John's to top us. <laughs> okay, really nice work. Good shooting. I think we're good from here. They probably gave up. I had given up by now. <sighs> okay, let's go show this thing to cave. Also, I do have one quick confession. I didn't actually get an appointment with Cave Johnson. I lied about that. But it turns out, I didn't know this, it turns out nobody's seen him in years. I did know it when I lied to you about our appointment, but it was still pretty new information. Anyway, I'm not gonna lie to you anymore. <sighs> I think he might be a millionaire recluse now. So be ready for that. There might be a lot of jars. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Johnson? He's a big head. Oh no. <laughs> Let's just go in. What the hell is that? Is that Mr. a potato? Johnson, are you here? It's just this giant head statue, I think. Hey there. It's me, Cave Johnson. No, no, not behind the giant head. I am the giant head. I'm gonna level with you. A few years back, I got real sick. Body riddled with disease. I was a goner. Threw every dollar I had at it. Told those eggheads, hey, eggheads, make me live forever. Now, I know what you're thinking. You gave the smartest engineers on Earth a blank check to make you immortal, and this is what they came up with? A giant head? <laughs> Off by a mile. No. They figured out how to put my consciousness in a computer. That's what's in the giant head. Their first plan was to put me in a regular brain-sized computer. Then they'd put that in a robot body, and hey, presto. Well, turns out you can't fit an entire human mind in a computer that small. All I could do was tell time and know what my name was. So they kept making it bigger. Big enough to cram every last bit of me into this thing. What happened to my robot body? Still under the head, somewhere all crushed up. Couldn't support the weight. So the lab boys put me in the big head, switched me on, and uh, I don't know, I panicked. Killed a few of them. <laughs> Said I'd kill more if they ever came back. Honestly, I, I regret that now. Anyway, that was four years ago. Been trying to get somebody's attention ever since. Get their butts up here and end. Hey, hey, hey! I can't talk over the sound of you shooting me. Do you want me to tell you why I'm a giant head or not? Oh, uh, right. Frankly, I'm fascinated. <laughs> giant head, riddled with disease, eggheads, immortality. Started with the small head, it got bigger. Ah, now I remember. Anyway, that was four years ago. Been trying to get somebody's attention ever since. Get their butts up here and end my suffering. Now don't worry. I like how he even recaps it. It's been a full life, but we're done here. I'm itching for the next step. Heck, I'm excited about it. Don't even think of it as killing me. You're breaking me out of prison. I'm just data now. I need you to crack this big clay head open so I can spill out into the universe. So, what do you two eggheads got? Uh, you, uh, you are in luck. We actually came up here to show you our new invention. Good stuff. Let's see it. Show them, partner. Well. Oh, that work. To be honest, I thought you were you to be dragging the toilet up here. You are genius. All those geniuses. We need to find his weak spot. Nothing's been made of clay. It's all weak spots. What? You were 
made of metal, sir. So shoot the metal. Is it working? I'm in the head, I can't see. It's working great, sir. It doesn't feel like it's working, but you're the eggheads. I don't think it's working, but keep shooting. It's making him happy. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever makes your boss happy, do it. Hey, you see that? <laughs> I think that's his power source. Oh, geez, you didn't say. What do you think? Jeez, whoever well, fired the go. power. That... Power and down. The great beyond. Boy, I'll, I'll give you two credit. That is one hell of an invention. You did it. You figured out how to end my suffering. It was Surge Protector. Right. Suffering ended in three, <laughs> two. <sighs> Backup power activated. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, you're both fired. I'm gonna need your key cards. Just lay them down in front of the head. Not too close to the chin, or I won't be able to see him. Uh-oh. We're fired, guys. We don't have to help him anymore. <laughs> knows Cave Johnson asked us to kill him is now dead. Yeah, right. Do you know what the punishment for murder is? They told us in parole officer school, you're not going to like this. Uh, it's life. Your whole life in prison. We should. Yeah, we, we, we should leave. Don't touch anything. And bring the desk. <laughs> Oh, now we're going down. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Society collapsed. Dave Johnson, what did you do? Months later. Morning, Charlie. It's me, Gary. Gary, your boss. Keep inspecting those toilets. Good work, good stuff. Good. Hey, it's just me, Grady. Yeah. Yeah, the like tattoo. Man. This witness protection program is great. I don't know why we didn't turn state's evidence against those loan sharks in the first place. We don't have to pay any of the money back. We got oh, yes, new see names. Wow. I like yours a lot, by the way. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, you think they'd move us to another state or give us new jobs or something. Feels like everything is exactly the same, except our first mm -hmm. names. Ah, you know what? They know what they're doing. Anyway. See you tomorrow, Charlie. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was drooling at first. <laughs> this is a very silly game. <laughs> and I love it. Oh, and now he's powered by their post-scarcity thing. I thought just those. Do they have a giant uh, ice bag on his head? No, that's his hair. That's his hair. I was gonna say. <laughs> now you know how the turrets learn to sing. <laughs> you know it was very sure I loved it. Remember that's canon now. <laughs> yep. It's canon.
Somewhere deep in the bowels of Aperture Science, Dave Johnson's giant robot head is... Your name's Eric. Eric. Still <laughs> singing to this very day. <laughs> the Combine have invaded and taken over the Earth, and Cave Johnson is still in a hole somewhere singing. Used there as Bill Fletcher. <laughs> and there's cake. That's a jello. Oh, sorry, jello. Leroy Slayman says, Man, for once I feel like Cape Johnson had it worse than GLaDOS. Cave Johnson specifically asked for this and then got screwed over by it. <laughs> I don't know if Cave Caroline Johnson kind of deserved it too. So <laughs> I don't think Caroline asked to be made uh, painfully immortal. Well, that was one of the best twenty minutes of my life. <laughs> no doubt about that. <laughs> I love silly ideas like this. It is fun. And I love that apparently this is starting the trend of like Valve's been like, all oh, right, we like making games. We should do some more of that. Because it came out in the last <laughs> week that they're just like, yeah, we're on like three or four different game projects right now where we're actually making stuff. Gasp. Valve making games. <laughs> yeah, gasped. what is this, 2009? He gets. They're like, oh, we finished the Steam Deck. Um, what else can we do? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's how the last two things were, right? Where it was they came out with the index, and they're they're like, "Well, we need a flagship product for it." So, Alex, and then they came out with this, and they're just like, "Alex was cool, but we can't do that again." <laughs> so, let's just make something a little smaller. Fedrick says, "I want all this to be brought up again in Portal Three." I mean. Could. It could happen. Yeah. Portal 3 is more likely than Half-Life 3. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. And since we know it's Kane now, they're no doubt going to bring this up in the future. If they ever get to, uh, get around to it. Yeah. I, I think the well one... The Valve one... doesn't do threes. They might have to at some point. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I want to see... From Valve that would make me understand that they have the right thoughts about things if they ever do a Half Life 3 or something, and then there's like an electric gun in it that's called the E Pistol 3. And it's just like, ah, I see what you did there. 